Hi, everyone. <laughs> so Hello. welcome to the panel for the Art of Teamwork. Uh, to start this panel, we actually have an actual team that works at Webtoon who's going to introduce themselves, introduce the name of their series, um, and what their role is on the team. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Aria, and I am the editor for Four Leaf. Hello. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm Hito. Um, I do flat colors and, and line, line art for Four Leaf. And I'm Lomada. I am the author of, of Four Leaf. <laughs> so, how, why are you guys sitting hello, together, everyone. Hito and Lou? <laughs> Uh, we are here together because uh, we are married. <laughs> Our team goes yes. goes beyond just for life. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Perfect. So that's the quick introduction. So now we're going to go into some questions. So these questions are from social media, and we picked a few that we saw a lot, and we really wanted to ask you. Uh, so the first question is, what is the creation process? How does it usually look like for your team? Well, for, uh, particularly for, for Leaf, I have um, this story uh, right, written down. Uh, I started writing it as a novel, so now I kind of translated it into a, a comic web format. Uh, so I, I first started uh, reading the script I have and making how, how do we call it? Summary? <laughs> summary. No, not, not a summary. More like um, a panel by panel uh, of what is going to happen, but only in words. Uh, so then I send that, that to Aria. But what do you do with it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I yes, don't know you. what happens. Then, like, like, you, you don't know what happens once it comes to my desk. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's very, very good. Um, so Lou sends over the episode beats to me and I look it over and see, you know, does everything feel like it's paced well? Uh, does the dialogue sound okay? Is there anything in the story that I think, you know, could be tightened up or maybe there's a consistency thing, just my job, you know, I'm here to look and provide a second pair of eyes. And once everything looks okay, I'll make my notes and I'll send it back to Lou. And Lou, what happens when it goes back to you? <laughs> then uh, when we come back, uh, we, we have uh, generally a, a little ch chat about uh, the episode and the usual. Then I start sketching. Well, the, the rest of the process is kind of uh, like me me mechanical. <laughs> like, yeah, um, uh, I sketch, I then if there's anything like I, I want to send to to him who is my my assistant uh, I I make, make the sketches a little bit more polished so he can understand them better uh, if there's an uh, a panel that I'm going to be doing myself then I just keep it a raw sketch that until I finish the ep sketching the whole episode then I, um, if he's going to gonna work on, on lines, uh, as a line artist, uh, I send those sketched panels to him and I work on the other ones that, that I didn't send him. Then, uh, well, you know. <laughs> Well, yes, <laughs> uh, I, I do some line, uh, line art uh, if needed, that because um, it, it's a, it depends on the time that that she has and and I have and again and what our our, our kids let us <laughs> let us do. Yeah, but yeah, yeah that's, um, it varies. Uh, sometimes I do line work. Sometimes I'm just I just do flats. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I'm doing flats, I correct some lines. I I let Lou know that I have done that so so they can um, correct that. Um, taking it into account because they they need to replace it on the file yeah. the, those lines that, that mm -hmm. I corrected. But yep, that that's the process at least from my side. <laughs> okay. When we finish the process, um, uh, we have usually lines and base colors ready. So uh, I jump to um, shadows uh, or, or shadowing shadow in the whole episode. 
Uh, sometimes I only do the the outline of the shadow, and we, we, uh, and send him uh, when I send him the to do the colors. I also send the out, outline of the shadow, so he does that too. Um, that's uh, a bit rare because I, I enjoy making shadows. <laughs> yeah, once that is finished, uh, I work on background. Uh, I, I don't think I sent you to make background. Before, no, 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 never I, I only, <laughs> I always make the background myself, even if they are only blurred or something more uh, uh, difficult or specific. Uh, I do it myself. And then in the end, I add effects. Um, well, then it's the deadline, and he takes care of our kids while I work uh, <laughs> <laughs> at high speed. Uh, and uh, at the end, I send things back to Aria so she can check uh, if everything looks all right. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, it, it sounds it sounds like like it is step by step first lines uh, then colors but it, it all happens at the same time yeah <laughs> I, I don't know it always depends on the episode and what we need to do for each episode yes. yeah we <laughs> she she may be still working on on lines i am re already doing some mm -hmm. plots for another but because again the the episodes are quite are quite long so so yeah we we work in in tandem and mm -hmm. mixing the 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 part of the, of oh, the, the episode, process, yeah, yeah, the process. It's very organic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it sounds like as a team, you both kind of help fill in the gaps that need to be done. You know, like yeah. one person needs to fill in, the other person fills, fills mm -hmm. in, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Something else someone people asked were, what were some of the biggest challenges that you faced working as a team? And then how did you work to resolve those those challenges? I'm sure like there's things that come across like when you're working like like as partners or with your editor mm -hmm. sometimes there can be like disagreements things like that how did you guys really work to to rep to reprimand those mm. with Aria I think we haven't had disagreements <laughs> everything she can back oh. with is, is great <laughs> I love it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I am glad. I, I agree. We didn't have any disagreements, um, yeah, yeah. so we'll, um, we'll keep aiming that way. <laughs> um, we Hito is more like um, we're kind of in the same type of process, like art, and maybe I need to prepare the references for the characters, and sometimes uh, in some episode or panel there's oh, here they show their mouth open and I don't have the color for the mouth. Do you have them? And it's kind yeah. of like a nice thing. <laughs> yes, communication. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we started building a, like a library online in the cloud uh, with all the character references and they keep getting bigger and bigger because uh, we find details of the characters outside. We find uh, we find details of the characters that we didn't consider when I made the references, and yeah, it will keep growing uh, until we finish with the series. <laughs> I'm sure. Sure that you guys work so well together. <laughs> and I have a quick question for Aria regarding that, um, because you know I'm sure that you edit for other people as well. Mm -hmm. I wonder, like, let's say there's like a how do you balance the ideas of the editor and the creators? Right. Um, that's a good question. I think the way to balance it is for me as an editor to just kind of get a good understanding of what the creator or the creative team is wants to tell with the story and what the point of the story is, because um, then, you know, my feedback will be in service of what the creator's vision is. And so, you know, I can provide ideas, but these ideas aren't like my idea is like, oh, I want you to do this. It's more like, oh, I think if you want to explore this idea, here's an option, or have you thought about this? And really asking questions so that it's not so much that I am giving an idea, but just offering an outside perspective to kind of help the creator think of ideas also. Does that make sense? Oh, so that's another part, sorry. 
of the process that is very important. <laughs> Are you encouraging me, encouraging me through the through, through the deadline process? <laughs> <laughs> and when I'm about to finish an episode and I'm, uh, I've been driving for 10 hours <laughs> she's going, you got this, yeah um, yeah, and, and she also sends me memes made of the panels of our webtoons <laughs> uh, very important part, part of the process <laughs> I was going to say, the secret is in the memes, that's good for morale <laughs> I do I do like to repurpose memes from the comic to be very supportive um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I I think that's a, that is a part of the process is, and I think that goes to a previous question about potential challenges is, I wouldn't say it's a challenge of disagreement, but just creating in general is hard work. And so being supportive and understanding if there are any issues and encouraging is really important just yes. as part of a team, as an editor, as a creator, you know, towards your assistants and vice versa, is just being empathetic and supportive to, because we're all... We're all part of a team and we're all kind of moving towards the same goal. I have a lot of independent creators that are interested in forming teams. And so do you have any advice on best practices on how to get in touch with people to start creating these teams? And also, just how do you start a team? <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to marry them first. <laughs> it, it will be cheaper that way. <laughs> if you need someone mm -hmm. to help you, that's mm -hmm. that's the point to 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 get some someone or to to build a team. I, I started helping uh, Lou because she, um, they, they weren't able to to, <laughs> to, to finish yeah. the yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was so draining. Mm. Uh, so uh, we needed to, to change something and well we consider uh, hiring someone of course mm -hmm. and then we ended up with this arrangement and it works fine mm -hmm. um, but again I'm an artist as well so <laughs> that that's that well I don't know we already we also have some friends that are artists and we consult yeah. with, with them first. If you don't have any friends that are artists, I'm not sure about how to go well, about it. But uh, I know that there, there are a lot of people that... Yeah, there are many Western artists who post um, a show applications like uh, on Twitter or yeah they they go out there on social media and ask for help yeah, yeah I have worked with, with other people um, as my assistants but it's it's always been friends or people who I have worked with before on other um, on video games or other things uh, in previous shows so I I wouldn't be so sure how to start looking for a, an assistant uh, in a field where you don't know anyone? Yes, but I, I'm thinking even our friends are our friends because we were all part of an artist community. Yeah. So it's obvious that you're going to make friends there. But if, if you already uh, mm -hmm. belong to a community of artists, that there's always going to be someone mm -hmm. that's going to be available because yeah, we need to work. <laughs> <laughs> and just to add on to that, I think, you know, just if you're able to find a community and just by virtue of, you know, putting yourself out there and kind of uh, engaging in the community, you'll make friends. And then those friends could potentially end up being assistants or collab. You can collaborate with them or, you know, you'll know, they'll know people that they can put you in touch with. Um, and it kind of just becomes like this ever expanding network. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just put yourself out there, try to make some friends and that you don't know where it could go, you know? Yeah. The, the word of mouth is very powerful. <laughs> to plug the discord right now but discord's <laughs> a great place for you to also kind of find yeah, yeah. creators um like for example something that like as a canvas team member what i've seen before is people kind of looking through the canvas site and finding like a particular artist that they really liked and reaching out to them and being like hey like mm -hmm. i love your art like maybe we can work on yeah. something together and so honestly the canvas community is one of your hugest re hugest resources i also see a lot of people on reddit um, reaching out like yeah. I need an artist I have this great idea I need someone who can actually draw things like that so a lot of people again are reaching out to the community mm -hmm. in terms of finding assistance we, I've seen people on even on Instagram uh, on the webtoon uh, page of Instagram I, saying I have this webtoon idea who wants to work with me and there are people responding to the messages because there are a, a lot of people wanting to create right now and 
Mm -hmm. Some just know how to race, some just know how to to draw. And <laughs> people that are everywhere just have to go out there and I look for them. This creator with a super funny name, Dirk Seafish, just <laughs> asked a really great question. Um, and they asked, how do you know when to compromise? Um, and then when you do, like, how do you push for it while also maintaining like the team dynamic and team relationship? Uh, Lou, did you feel like you had to compromise because of anything that I said? Uh, regarding uh, you editing my, my script? Sure. I think this is a good question that can touch on like the editor-creator relationship yeah. also. No, actually, no. <laughs> Not really. It's, it's kind of weird, really, because I, <laughs> I, we have, Ha, uh, very similar points of view regarding fall leaf. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the way you edit is really, I think, similar to the way I approach approach my stories. And so I think we have really good chemistry there, and we really happy with that. Sometimes I, I, I remember it happened with my previous editor once that uh, she wanted to to change a, a dialogue and I didn't like the idea of changing it. So we made some exchanges uh, of opinions and we settled on something, but I don't know. It, you have to sometimes not focus yourself so much in in some details that maybe that won't let you continue uh, otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, but, yes, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and ultimately uh, you don't, uh, you don't need to lose purpose perspective that that other person uh, wants to wants uh, or, or that proposal or, or gives that proposal because they think that it will help the the final product. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I I mean sometimes you don't want to compromise, but you, you need to to make an effort to to understand that per perspective. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, we all want the best for the story here. So. Mm -hmm. And I think one thing that helps when you're having that dialogue is making sure that you're conveying why you think about your point of view instead mm -hmm. of just kind of saying, oh, you need to do this. Um, mm -hmm. Not just because it's like, oh, because I think this, but it's like, why is it, why do you feel so strongly about it? Or mm -hmm. why do you really not want to change it? And it's like, because if you kind of make your reasoning clear, that could open mm -hmm. a perspective on the other person's side that they they might say, oh, okay, I was misunderstanding what you were trying to do. So now that I understand what you're trying to do, what if we try this other approach? And then maybe that's how you mm -hmm. find that compromise. Yeah. Yeah, and and I'm and I'm actually remembering when you you first start working with Webtoon, um, Webtoon has a, a really part a particular um, structure for for each episode. They like to play. You need to to play a lot with cliffhangers uh, and. Yeah. The comic wasn't think, thought like that, and mm -hmm. some of the, those um, confrontations c came from making those changes uh, mm -hmm. or cutting in this spot, and yeah. it didn't feel right for for Lou, for example, mm -hmm. um, to I don't know, just cut that that action there, but it did make make sense in mm -hmm. in, in, in context Webtoon of format. webtoon yeah. and and thanks to to open uh, open our minds to, to how that works uh now it's it's very easy uh, for lu to write that directly mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and that was a process that that wasn't something that mm -hmm. we we part, we didn't like that at the beginning but uh, it's something it I, I I get to I got to learn because obviously I didn't start making webtoons knowing how to make webtoons. My editor knew much more about me <laughs> about it that, than I did, and I I been learning since, since the start. And it is uh, he says it's much more uh, much easier now than it was uh, in the beginning. Um, it's kind of learning how to understand the, the format and a, a constant learning <laughs> and, and from you, each other. Yeah, and and once you under, understand how a webtoon works, those those story beats, uh, mm. it it's it's awesome. I mean, yeah. it, it improves the product. The click hammers <laughs> uh, flow. <laughs> Something else that people had asked a lot on social media was regarding how do you 
kind of stay together and support each other during ups and downs. Like I'm sure that you know creating Webtoon isn't always smooth sailing. So when there's you know ups and downs, how do you collaborate during those times? I mean, it hasn't been a smooth exactly. <laughs> it's really uh, challenging to make a webtoon. It takes a lot of hours of work. Uh, as we say, we have a kid, uh, he's got a full time job. Uh, I'm, you know, I take commissions sometimes, so it has the shadow of that. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a, some weeks it's just like uh, we are at the start of the week, make the episode, and I think, how, I, how am, am I going to, to survive this week? <laughs> and then suddenly I'm at the end of the week and I'm sending the episode in, and we, we did it. <laughs> some weeks are more smooth and. Uh, easier and some other ones and are more difficult but yeah it's it's normal it's what, what has to happen yeah and well as, as you can imagine uh, it impacts more than just uh, the production for us because we share everything <laughs> <laughs> um we usually we usually ask for help outside <laughs> I am. Um, I don't know. My 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 parents. Uh, yeah. Their their parents. And for, for example, to help with our kids, to to give us that a little bit more time to work. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's 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 just too much work, and you need help, and it's okay to ask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and even well, and even mm -hmm. sometimes, I don't know if you don't meet the the deadline, it's better to <laughs> to let the. <laughs> To let uh, Aria know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I think that's the thing, too, is just like, you know, when you're going through the downs or the tough times or if, you know, we're not doing as at, we're not at our peak, just remembering that the other person is trying their best and just keeping that in mind and being kind when you're interacting while still kind of making clear what we can improve on next time and just not not taking things personally, you know, and not being yeah. personal, you know, just being empathetic, which I guess sounds very vague, but just being nice really helps. <laughs> just being yeah, nice yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, someone in the chat asked this question, and it might be a little bit difficult to answer, but I'd still love to hear your thoughts if you have any. But um, regarding a team and dividing the rights to an intellectual par property that the team is working on, how would you go about, like, saying, like, oh, I own this amount, like I own this part. Um, when everybody has like a different role in the in creating that property. Well, I, I <laughs> yeah, guess I, I could answer earlier okay. because. <laughs> um, so in in this particular uh, case, uh, so that this is this is not my my webtoon at all. I <laughs> I just do something that is very mechanic, and and Lou could could do it if if. They have more time, so uh, I I just I don't have any anything to <laughs> uh, yes. to, to to ask of, of that. But go ahead now. What's your purpose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you also work on it. Your Mac is there. I mean, I don't know if the question comes more from uh, a side of um, I don't know, like how much you feel is yours of the product or if they are like uh, asking from the point of uh, how much uh, am i no no no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah I, I don't know um, again this is not a, our case but mm. i guess it is, it is important to to talk those, those things before yeah. and make those things clear i don't know if perhaps you need to write it down but um yeah, yeah be, be very clear of that kind of things before mm -hmm. entering in, in any branch through webtoon we have an agreement with, with area of what is uh, each one of us gonna do um like in the episode on the credits uh, it got my name and her name and at the end of the episode i had his name as an assistant uh, i mean i wouldn't like it to to be otherwise for me it's important to have their names because it's their participation is very important to me i mean the, the episode wouldn't exist uh, without the help um yeah <laughs> I, I think i i see you in court then 
<laughs> so I think the key to that is really being very clear in your approach and in your management yeah. of that when mm -hmm. discussing uh, rights and things like that. Um, and also just really asking yourself, like, how much of this is truly just mine versus, you know, my assistance and their mm -hmm. contribution, how that weighs into the overall creation of the product. Um, but yeah, that's all the questions we have for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you so much, thank Kito, Lu, Aria, yes, for you. answering your questions today. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.